let us start this new chapter on moments so what is moments when the forces they produce a turning effect it is called moment we know that forces can push pull right forces can also turn things around so in this chapter we'll be focusing on forces which are turning the things right so this chapter will complete in three videos this is your video number one of three this first chapter focuses on what is moments basic of moments let us understand it from our day-to-day -day example understanding moment through an example if you have to undo a tight nut on a bicycle how do you do it you use a spanner or do you use your hand think about it so this is a question from your day-to-day -day life what should your answer be if you have to undo a tight nut would you use a spanner or would you use your hand now if you're unsure what is a spanner here I have the picture of the span spanners as well on the screen so this is how a spanner looks like your answer should be spanner right spanner okay why spanner because the spanner exerts a much bigger force on the net on the nut than the force you apply through your hand so if you are using your hands if you are using your finger to undo the nut it will be very very difficult or maybe you'll fail to undo the nut but if you are using the spanner you'll be applying you'll be using much less effort much less force and it is easier to undo the nut so this is an example from a day-to-day -day life which introduces us to moments another question which you see on the screen now if you had a choice between a long handled spanner and a short handled spanner which would you choose so if you are given a choice a longer spanner and a shorter spanner which one would you choose to undo the nut think about it using which one of the spanner will help you apply lesser force if your answer is choosing the long handled spanner you are correct if you are using a long handled spanner you'll be using lesser force but why is it so why is it so it is because of moment which talks about the turning effect of force so what is moment the definition of moment is the tendency of a force to rotate a body about a fixed point is called moment or you can say the turning effect of force is called moment let us understand both the statements one by one they actually mean the same thing but we need to understand every term in the definition all right so if you look at the definition number one the tendency of a force what is the force doing to rotate rotate about a fixed point right forces have a tendency to do a lot many things from a day-to-day -day example we know that forces can push things they can pull things they can stretch things they can break things right but here we are talking about the thing the tendency of the force which is turning right we are focusing only on the tendency of the force which is to turn nothing else right so tendency of a force to rotate a body you're rotating about a fixed point there is a name for this fixed point as well scientific name we call it a pivot or a fulcrum we'll understand this point as well pivot or fulcrum right the tendency of a force to rotate a body about a fixed point is called moment whenever you are turning any object there is a point which stays fixed right say if you are turning this pen every other part of the body is turning but one point is staying fixed this is the point 
that this definition refers here fixed point the tendency of the force my finger is this hand is applying a force it is rotating a body right so read the statement tendency of a force to rotate a body the body is the pen my hand is applying a force and it is rotating the body about a fixed point this is the fixed point it is called moment simple or you can also say the turning effect of the force a force which can turn i'm applying a force which can turn is called moment simple now the formula for moment is also very simple let us come to the formula here in this box rectangular box the formula for the moment is force times the distance to the pivot right it is perpendicular distance to the pivot we'll understand what perpendicular means in the as we proceed through the video right so moment is force multiplied by distance in simple terms you can say all right so what would be the unit of moment if you look just at the formula what do you think would be the unit of moment whenever you have to find the unit of any quantity you have to look at its formula right so in the formula the force is expressed as newtons the distance is always measured in si units in meters so therefore the unit of moment is newton meter how do you get newton meter you multiply the newton with meter in the formula your unit for moment is newton meter all right so that's one thing the formula tells us the unit we have identified the unit for moment is newton meter right another thing let us understand at the bottom point here moment can be increased by either increasing the force or increasing the distance from the pivot look at the formula itself it is a simple multiplication of two quantities force and distance so if you want to increase the left hand side which is the moment you can either increase the force or you can increase the distance or you can increase both of them so the turning effect which is the moment you can increase the turning effect either by increasing the force or by increasing the distance from the pivot let me explain these points to you increasing the force say i want to turn this pen either you apply a greater force greater force greater push so that means greater moment greater faster is the turning effect faster is the turning effect means turning effect is what moment faster is the turning effect faster is the moment another way of increasing the moment is increasing the distance from the pivot either you apply the force here at the center the distance from the pivot is small or you apply the force at a larger distance from the pivot it also determines the turning effect when your force is away from the pivot moment is larger we'll understand it as we proceed through the video right so we have understood the definition the unit and the formula for moment let us solve this very simple example you are given a claw hammer removing a nail from a wooden beam so this is your nail you are pulling it out using a claw hammer you are applying a force through your hands so it is very important that you understand the picture first you are applying the force with your hands and where is the pivot which is the point which is not moving or which is the point around which the things are moving which is the point around which the claw hammer is moving if you can identify you have a point given here which is called your pivot so you have identified the pivot you have identified the force right so the magnitude of the force if you read the text it is given as 50 newtons a force of 50 newtons is exerted on a claw hammer of length 0.3 meters so the length is also given k 
calculate the moment of the force. This is very simple to calculate. How much is the moment? Moment is force multiplied by distance. So 15 and the unit is Newton meters. All right. Okay, so let us look at this picture. It's a picture of a seesaw, right? Which is balanced, which is balanced. It is perfectly horizontal, not moving. This is called balanced. There is a girl sitting on one side and there is a boy sitting on the other side, right? The boy is smaller in size as compared to the girl, which you can clearly see from the picture, right? Look at the sizes as well. Okay, so let us understand some simple, simple facts here. What is the direction of the girl's moment? What is the direction of the girl's moment? Please do remember that moment is a vector quantity. Moment will have a direction. Why is moment a vector quantity? The formula for the moment is force times distance, right? If force, because the formula for the moment has force in it which is a vector so therefore moment is also a vector quantity right so what is the direction of the girl's moment if you have to answer this question you have to look at in which way is the girl turning the seesaw in which way is the girl turning the seesaw if the boy say was not sitting on the seesaw which way will the girl move the girl would move this way, right? So the girl is turning the seesaw in anti-clockwise. So what is the direction here? The direction is anti-clockwise. What is the direction of the girl's moment? It is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. All right. Similarly, what is the direction of the boy's moment? Assume that the girl is now not sitting on the seesaw. In which direction will the seesaw move when the boy is sitting alone? Down. So what is the direction of the moment of the boy? It is clockwise. Right? So moment is a vector quantity whenever you have to find the direction of a moment just look at that particular force and think about how that force is bringing a turning about the pivot right so another thing that we need to identify where is the pivot can you all identify where is the pivot here in this picture pivot is this the point around which all the turning is taking place this is your pivot. All right. Can you identify the forces acting here, which are bringing the turning? Forces, you have the weight of the girl. The weight of the girl, let's call it WG. And the weight of the boy. Let's call it WB. The weight of the girl and the weight of the boy, they are bringing about a turning effect. These are your forces. Let's call them. Let's call them force one. Force one is the weight of the girl. Force two is your weight of the boy. Weight is a force. If you do not understand that weight is a force, please do watch the video on mass and weight. Right? Now let us understand let us now answer one more question here. Why is the girl sitting nearer to the pivot than the boy? Why is the girl, if you see in the picture, she is nearer the pivot as compared to the boy? The answer lies again in the formula for moment. What is the formula for moment? Moment is force times the distance. If the seesaw is perfectly horizontal. Why is it horizontal? Because the moment of the girl is equal to the moment of the boy. What does it mean? The turning effect 
the turning effect which the curl is producing should be equal and opposite to the turning effect which the boy is producing. Both of them are producing equal turning effect from both sides of the pivot. So as a result, no turning happens. The moment of the curl, which is the turning effect of the curl, should be equal to the moment of the boy, which is the turning effect of the boy. Let us substitute the values from the formula. What is the moment of the curl? Moment of the curl is force created by the curl. What is the force created by the curl? The force created by the curl is the weight of the curl. Right? Multiplied by the distance of the curl, which should be equal to the weight of the boy multiplied with the distance of the boy. Right? We know that we know that the curl is heavier. We know it already that the weight of the curl is more than the weight of the boy. So if you want both the sides to be equal, weight of the curl is more than the weight of the boy, then clearly the distance of the curl should be lesser than the distance of the boy. The distance of the boy should be more than the distance of the distance of the curl from the pivot then only two sides of the equation will become equal right that's the property of multiplication you get it from your maths so a heavier person has to sit nearer to the pivot to balance with a lightweight person who has to sit away from the pivot why because the momentum is force times distance if the force is large you reduce its distance from the pivot to equate it with another force which is larger in magnitude by bringing it or taking it away from the pivot. This creates balancing. Simple and easy things to understand, not so difficult, right? So please do understand physics is all very simple. It relates to your day-to-day -day scenario. Even if you forget some of the fundamentals, just think about it. Close your eyes and visualize how things would happen if you really try to do in a real life scenario. You'll automatically get all your answers, right? It's very logical and straightforward and it can be proven everything with the help of formulas, right? All right, so let us understand what is the purpose of pivot, right? So what do you see on the screen? You see a ruler, line idle. So you can also keep a ruler on your desk. Keep a ruler on your desk. And what do you do? You push it with your finger. So somewhere at the center maybe, you apply a force. Keep a ruler on your desk and push it with your finger. What happens to the ruler? The ruler moves ahead. The ruler will be pushed and it will come ahead somewhere. It will move ahead. Now visualize, now visualize that you are drilling a hole. You are drilling a hole at one side, right? And you are inserting a nail in this hole, right? Now this, this nail is going through this hole all right and the ruler is free to rotate around this nail have you created a pivot you have created a pivot this is your pivot you have created a pivot now keep applying applying the apply the force again say that you're applying the force what happens to the ruler now? Will it move ahead as it was moving earlier? No. Logically, right? Physics is logical even if you do not memorize physics. You understand it and if you can visualize every scenario for once, you will remember everything forever. So what happens? Will the ruler move ahead? No. This time it will start turning. The ruler turns. The ruler will turn around the pivot. The ruler will take rounds around the pivot. 
Let us understand this on a whiteboard. So this is your ruler and this is your nail. If you are applying a force anywhere, anywhere away from the pivot, what will happen to the ruler? The ruler would move something like this. It will move like this. Right? It will rotate around the pivot. It will rotate around the pivot. Sorry. This app is not so wonderful. The rotation around a fixed point is not working so much. But it will move. It will move. I hope you should understand. This ruler will rotate around the but the new location of the ruler would be something like like this the ruler will move about the pivot maybe the next location would be something like this sorry All the way going somewhere up not putting the screen but you can visualize so the ruler will move the ruler will move and it will rotate around the nail this is what I'm trying to say if there is no pivot there is no turning if there is pivot there is turning if there is no pivot the ruler will move ahead so I hope you all understand now that pivot is very important to create turning effect if there is no pivot creating turning not possible so you all understand the basics of moments in the next chapter we'll be talking about what is equilibrium as i told you all we'll cover this topic of moments in three small videos right go through them one by one you'll understand everything about moments and it is a very simple chapter trust me thank you